Have you ever heard of moderation management groups out there? You know, I was at a meeting about a year ago and some guy was in there yakking about moderation management. And he was saying, he was claiming that he wasn't an alcoholic and that he was gonna go to these moderation management classes and learn how to drink responsibly. I said to myself in my inside voice, that guy's crazy, man. If you're an alcoholic, there's no way you're gonna be able to moderate your drinking or control your drinking, because that's basically what it is. That'd be like changing a pickle back into a cucumber, wouldn't it? If you're an alcoholic, wouldn't you agree with that? Well, there's a lot of people out there who are alcoholic who have tried to control or moderate their drinking, or they just go to moderation management and they just continue to drink. There's a lot of people who've done that, and, and that's fine. But for me, it doesn't work. I'm a full-blown alcoholic. I need to quit drinking 100%. Moderation management may work for people who are heavy drinkers or problem drinkers, or may think they're an alcoholic or have the mild forms of the on onset of alcoholism who are able to turn it around. Moderated, moderation management may work for them, but for myself, no way, it didn't work. It mo I couldn't moderate my drinking. I couldn't control my drinking. It always turned out to be a shit show at the end, you know? I wouldn't drink on Sundays because I had to work on Monday and I'd be proud of myself. Oh, Terry, you can control your drinking. No problem. Or my wife would say, you know, Terry, have one or two at the, the work party tonight. I don't want you to get drunk and make an ass of us. Just have one or two. So I do that. We dance. We'd have some fun. Everything would be great. She'd pat me on the shoulder and say, you know, Terry, you see, you don't have a drinking problem. You just need to learn how to moderate it or control your drinking. And I would agree with her, but the number one reason I want to point out in this video why moderation management or controlled drinking fails us. And the number one reason is because it's based, they're based on willpower. And the willpower to the alcoholic is totally useless because the willpower, when it comes to willpower, basically it acts like a muscle. It'd be like going to the gym, taking a 10 pound weight and sitting there doing a whole bunch of reps and your arm's getting tired, and it's getting sore, and you're getting stressed out, and you throw more will at it to get to the 100, but eventually you just get too tired, too weak, and you just give it up. And that's the way the, the will works. It's like a muscle. Yeah, you'll be able to control your drinking or moderate your drinking for a little while, but life situations, irritable discontentment in your life will catch up with you. And before you know it, you're back on another binger. You've torn down the house of cards that you've built over the last month or six months or six days or two days, whatever it may be. To the alcoholic, the willpower avails us nothing. We need to give up the, the, give up the thought that we can drink like normal people. We need to give that up. We need to give alcohol up 100% on a daily basis, one day at a time, for I'm not saying the rest of your life, but at least for today, give it up. But do not throw your will at it because willpower will wear you down and you will drink again. To the alcoholic, the 100% alcoholic like I am, moderation management or controlled drinking does not work for us. It really, really doesn't. And that's, that's the truth of it, folks. Once an alcoholic, always an alcoholic. Once a dill pickle, never a cucumber again. Never ever a cucumber again. Always a dill pickle, okay? So that's all I have to say about this. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can do me a favor, can you please leave a comment below or subscribe to my channel? I really appreciate it. Hope you're all doing well out there. Keep safe. Keep physically distancing. This will be all over soon. It really will. Maybe in a couple months, we should be able to get out and resume our face-to-face -face meetings, okay? As usual, look after yourself because it shows. I'll see you next time and take it one day at a time and God bless you all. See you later.